Now we're learning more about this family and their injuries after the small plane that they were in crash landed in Baytown. Gary Flint was the pilot and his wife, Linda Flint, and their eight-year-old son were all on board. They're working to figure out what exactly went wrong. We do know that they were airlifted to Memorial Hermann Hospital, but they are listed in serious condition. My oldest son, Charles, didn't really care for flying, and it just so happened, well, he was at a camp, and uh, Jonathan had never been up at night, so three of us can go fly, just kind of enjoy it. We had been flying around for a short period of time, and, and, and that's when the engine quit. And then my dad turned it back on, and then it shut back off. Never would have expected something crazy like this. I'm thinking, OK, we're making an emergency landing, and that's when we hit the power line. The plane was really crumpled up, and I remember, remember thinking that it'll be a miracle if there's not somebody dead in this, because it was really folded up. Everything stopped. I couldn't move, I couldn't see. I could talk to Jonathan, he was responding, and I could hear Linda behind me. I at least knew she was there. And I remember all the sirens and the helicopter coming down. We elected to put Gary on the second aircraft that landed. That way, that aircraft never had to shut down. Then we loaded Linda and Jonathan and flew with them. Jonathan and I went with Life Flight. And he was awake, and he was you know, alert enough to know that mom was in there. If you're seriously injured, every minute counts. As the trauma surgeons, we were ready and waiting when the patients arrived. Their injuries were, as you might imagine, broken bones, uh, contusions and bruises, and uh, just all over their body from their head to their toe. Gary, his nose was shattered. His right elbow was broken. My C3 was broke and multiple other fractures. And they took out 100 centimeters of small bowel, the appendix, right colon. You know, we were hurt, yes, but we were alive. I knew that it was serious, but my little eight-year-old baby, his jaw was fractured in three places, and then his knees, he couldn't walk. I couldn't make him better. You know, it's so hard to see for my child. I first met uh, Jonathan. He was in the ICU. He was on oxygen. Uh, monitors were everywhere, and uh, you know, that's when it kind of hit me that this is an eight-year-old and his parents are not with him because they're injured. And I, mean, I wanted to hug. You just tell him it's gonna be okay, and then you do your best. He had an open knee injury. That's a really high risk for infection inside the knee, uh, which can cause permanent damage, especially in a child. And so getting him started on antibiotics, and then we did a combination of open and arthroscopic surgery to clean it out to decrease his infection risk, but also put his uh, quadriceps muscle back together so he could walk and run and play like a normal kid. We had so much support, the doctors, the nurses, but still there, were, there was a lot to recover. You could see the struggle between the parents' injury, but their concern for their child, and uh, just watching the whole family, watching the extended family, it was just a beautiful display of love. And when Charles came back into town, that made it all that much better because he was with his little brother, that he protects his little brother. It was comforting that we were all in the same place. Jonathan wasn't just in another part of the hospital, he was in a pediatric hospital all in itself, but it was next door to mine. And I didn't want to be anywhere else. And I am so thankful that we had the care that we did because we have that opportunity to enjoy each other. Jonathan is doing everything he did before. He, he hadn't slowed down. He looked amazingly normal when I saw him last. He came walking in and I said, how you doing? And then dad said, well, he's playing basketball. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well, obviously that's pretty good. We're pretty blessed that, you know, we have such great care so readily available. Not just for myself, but for my son and for my husband. We owe them our life because they saved my family. You know, you, you never forget something like that.